Hi guys, this is Philip, and I'm here to show you the EFX Render Elements Z Depth Tools. So, we have Z Depth Cut filter, supply it with uh, Z Depth Channel, and here's what we have front full cut threshold. Front no cut threshold, back full cut threshold, and back no uh, no cut threshold. So front it's uh, defaults to one. So if we dial it down, you'll see things disappearing in the front. Uh, we have a no cut threshold as well. If it goes below the full cut threshold, you can see a soft selection here. The same way uh, the back full cut threshold is set to zero. If you increase it, you'll start seeing things disappear from the back. Just like that. Okay, and a no cut threshold is just, again a soft selection for this. Uh, and offset uh, just keeps the selection as it is, but offsets it uh, to the back or to the front. So you can uh, create a Z depth wipe uh, through the scene uh, like this. Uh, the mode, oh, I'm sorry, I will rename this. Uh, it should be invert. So of course you can invert the effect. So you can cut out the objects. So let's leave it like this. Uh, we want to select these guys, so we don't want to lose anything in the front. We just want to cut out uh, the back. Really, 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 really. Okay, like this. And um, let's do a soft selection here. Okay, because for some reason everything in the front gets really blown out. Right. Why not? What else uh, can we have? Let's say we've rendered separately a layer uh, of a walking bug, right? Unfortunately, uh, we forgot about uh, matte shadow materials, mask or anything that would allow us to composite this bug into the scene. But since we're in the habit of uh, always rendering um, the technical passes, we have a ZDEV pass on it. So let's use an EFX ZDEV uh, Compose filter. Input 2 is for uh, the current layer's ZDEV, so uh, this ZDEV. Mm, input to three is for the Z-depth of the layer you're trying to mix with, so background uh, Z-depth. And now you can see these layers mix properly. Mm, let me just remove some of these so that we can view it a little bit faster. As you can see, the bug uh, walks behind I just removed the uh, edge blurring filter, so I, I hope this will be a little faster. As you can see, we have a uh, for the background we have just one layer, one one rendering. Uh, it was all in one uh, go, and we were able to composite uh, a second layer of the bug uh, inside. Uh, this background layer between the objects, thanks to just the uh, uh, z-depth channels. Uh, here also you have an, basically an offset value where you can mm, pull the mm, layer in front or a little bit more to the back. It all depends uh, on what you want to do. Uh, one thing I found, uh, and you should remember that for the bug here, uh, because it's being rendered on nothing, on transparent background mm, originally, you're better off with rendering a ZDEV pass that is not uh, anti-aliased. 
This one's anti-aliased, and this one's not. It's uglier, but the reason for this is that this anti-aliasing is actually also information, depth information uh, for um, the computer. It's no longer this nice gray, it's gray mixed with black, so basically uh, it seems like these edges are further uh, than the rest of the object. Uh, so if you replace the not anti-aliased layer with anti-aliased, you'll see a very ugly thing. You, you can see that uh, these edges were actually considered to be way in the back so they disappeared behind uh, the uh, wall. If you move the entire thing forward you can see we're getting back these, uh, these edges back. Unfortunately there's no way around it. Anti-alias uh, data again in these technical passes is well, false data. And Please remember to uh, in these situations uh, render a not anti-alias pass. That's one thing and also something that is, I'm hoping really logical uh, for this uh, to work properly um, you should render the ZDF passes for the background and for the uh, bug with the same settings so the uh, front plane and the back plane should be uh, at the same depths so that those two depth um, passes make sense together they describe the, the same space Okay, one last filter we have, mm, it's the E-Effect uh, Render Elements ZDEPTH Shadow. If you have a 2D layer and in the background you have a 3D rendered environment and you would want to throw a shadow from this 2D layer onto the background to make it match, well the background basically to be displaced, uh, here's a simple uh, trick. Let's say we have this background rather in 3d we have this front layer let's duplicate it so uh, now we have only this layer let's uh, color it so it looks kind of like a shadow probably more with desaturation okay and now uh, remember we still have a, a z-depth pass for this um, CG background. Let's apply the z-depth shadow. Uh, select the z-depth uh, pass of the background. And now what you can do is displace the layer based on um, the z-depth data. Horizontally, vertically, uh, you can reduce the opacity, mm, you can set the falloff for the opacity, is it larger or smaller, and also you can even blur uh, the shadow the further it goes. And like in other plugins you have the uh, blurring uh, curve to set up as well. Uh, and you also have a a way of moving the shadow alt altogether in one way or the other. So let's reset it, enable the front layer. As now, as you can see, we're throwing the shadow onto uh, the background, basically. Uh, of course, what we can display here is the final compositing of shadow, original shadow, so this layer and the z-depth shadow, so the z-depth layer, so this. We of course want the final one, and as you can see everything plays nicely.